Let's pretend we're in an economy with two goods, corn and lambs. There is a fixed amount of resources shown by the one piece of land, which would be used to either grow corn or graze lambs. Right now, all of this land is used to grow corn, giving us a thousand units, but the economy decides to allocate a little bit of this land to grazing lambs. Now, we need to be aware that this land isn't equally suitable for growing corn and grazing lambs. The green parts have plenty of grass for lambs to eat, but perhaps the soil there isn't really right for corn to grow. So naturally, we decide to graze our first hundred lambs in the green area, where it's not so great for the corn anyways. And after this reallocation of resources, in exchange for 100 lambs, we gave up 30 units of corn. Now, what if we keep on increasing the lambs? So we're still using parts of the land where it's better for lambs than corn, trading 70 units of corn for 100 lambs, leaving us with 900 units of corn. But moving on, perhaps the next piece of land is equally good for lambs and corn. We will have to give up 100 units of corn for 100 lambs, leaving us with 800 units of corn. However, the next lambs that we add will have to take up the land where it's better suited for growing corn than grazing lambs. Perhaps the soil is full of nutrients good for corn, but they don't really benefit the lambs very much. Now, if we choose to keep on swapping corn for lambs, we will have to give up 200 units of corn for 100 lambs. And lastly, the last bit of land that's best suited for growing corn and least suited for grazing lambs will be used for the lambs. We have given up 600 units of corn for the incremental 100 lambs, and now all the land is used for lambs. And in conclusion, we see that although we have increased grazing lambs at a constant rate, the opportunity cost of an incremental 100 lambs, or the corn that we have to give up for 100 lambs, is increasing. This is because factors of production are not equally suited for producing the two different goods, hence the increasing opportunity cost gives the PPC curve an outwards bowing shape.